Sneakopy. Back with some more Hunter Hunter. When we last left off, oh my god, everyone's freaking dead. <laughs> Those mafia dudes are they are not having a they're not having a good day. They are not having a good day. Crollo going on a freaking rampage. Go wild. I mean you're just like by the end of this, all the mafia dudes are just freaking dead. Killed by the phantom thieves. Or troop. But also, Gone and Killbo did manage to get away from them, but they've sort of realized that they really can't do shit against them. So they're gonna need some training and probably gonna look to Kurapika to do it. But the thing is, like, I, I don't know. I don't actually know if Gone and Killbo are really gonna contribute much in terms of battles for in this uh this arc. Because it, like how when and how is Kurapika gonna have the time to fucking do that? He's he's in the middle of his his uh own vendetta here. It's not like he's gonna be like, oh let me okay, let me just take a few uh a few episodes to take some time to train you guys. He's not. He wants to. He wants to kill these guys himself. And this is the closest he's ever gotten, or maybe ever will. So I don't know where this is gonna go. I, I I like that though. I like that I don't know what the fuck is gonna happen in this story, and I keep being surprised all the time. <laughs> By the way, you guys were giving me a lot of shit because I didn't recognize who was Crollo immediately. Well, excuse me, okay? You guys were like, "Well, he just put a headband on Nico." No, he put his hair down too. It wasn't slicked back. Though I, I probably should have realized that when I saw the earrings, but I don't know. I guess that wasn't the thing that made the biggest impression on me. It was the it was the the hair pulled back and the thing on his forehead. Okay, cut me some slack here. You guys may have memorized every square inch of Crollo's sexy bod, but I haven't gotten there yet. All right. Also, I, I didn't really catch the uh, the uh, savage burn the old man Killua's grandfather gave to the other mercenary dudes, where he's like, "Hey, I'm doing a discount if you wanna hire me anytime." bitch <laughs> basically saying they're a bit, they're all scrubs so yes of course i don't know why i didn't i don't know why i didn't catch that i think it's because i missed the like i read the second part but i missed the first part of it and i wrote back and read it and i didn't like it just didn't connect and another clarification you guys gave me was basically what killer was down was saying about not taking the like i thought he basically refused to uh take up the deal or the job that someone had given him before to take out a fan to remember no he actually took it what he was saying was that he took it. He's, he probably killed them then, but he said it wasn't worth the money because of the hassle it was to do. Basically, you know, saying that this guy was probably really strong. It took it was a pain in the ass to probably have to deal with them. So I see. OK, OK. Hence the reason he's still taking this job, but he's probably getting paid extra. I imagine compared to the, the previous time. But it does show that even for someone like Killua's dad, who is likely very strong and probably like super top tier right on the hunter hunter power listing this is still like gonna be tough for him which is gonna i'll be curious to see if we're gonna actually see him do anything if he's gonna like fight crollo or any of the other members or or the old man and if so what would the outcome be i could see him maybe fighting one of his scrubs and then like basically beating them right can't like care if he can have all the fun but anyway last episode uh Sorellium said so the thing about Neon not reading her own fortunes is, is actually a self-imposed, albeit unknowingly, restriction slash condition. I'll write these fortunes, but the condition is that I don't look. Even though she doesn't realize she's made a condition, it's that very thing that makes her fortune telling so accurate and powerful without her even realizing. The Nen system continues to impress me, and it makes sense too, since if her fortunes were that powerful to begin with and she could read her own, it would, wouldn't be an equal exchange. Makes you wonder how many people in the Hunter Hunter universe have Nen and put a condition on their talent to make them better without even realizing. For instance, Beethoven, who was deaf, yet produced music. In the Hunter Hunter universe, the fact that he wasn't able to hear what he composed is probably what in turn would have made it more beautiful. That is really cool. That is super cool, actually. <laughs> that's like so that's like that's so cool and so clever but i always go like you think takata really think that far ahead <laughs> was he really playing that shit because that's so fucking clever that it's like this could be a system that's so flexible it would it allows for things like that but uh i i don't know i i thought the the way the restrictions work was that you had to be aware of it in order like to do something specific but by just by i guess not doing something or making use of something of your ability and doing that. Yeah, like, yeah, like right? <laughs> I thought like the point also was the fact that Killua had actually like a little thing inside of his heart. Maybe that thing was there just so that if he did break his own vow, he would die. But that doesn't have to, they, they don't need that for necessarily all the other restrictions. I don't know. I thought the, I thought the pin was necessary though. <laughs> that is very, very cool. If that is the case, if that's really like how this is working and how it's planned out. And like you said, that, that, that example with Beethoven is super fascinating. That's. That's just really cool, man. <laughs> I gotta give it to Gata. To God. This is genuinely one of the, the coolest, most interesting fucking power systems that I've ever seen in anime. It really is. 
No, I have never seen a power system that had this number of levels and sheer amount of thought put into it. <laughs> more than just me get strong, me got more energy, me or energy than you. You die now. <laughs> but Cerulean, thank you so much for pointing out that uh, very uh, interesting tidbit. And it is for that reason you are comment of the day. But okay, guys, so we're on to episode 52. Um, I believe the arc ends at like episode 58. That's like the last episode of this arc. So counting this one, we have about seven episodes left. And I don't know where things are going to go. Like, Krollo has got uh, all his uh, his buddies just slaying all the mafia guys. I, I think he's still in the building. So uh, I guess the chance, at least for the other hitmen, to try to do something to him. I guess maybe Killua's family would also still be there. So I don't know. Maybe they'll do something. Maybe they'll find one of the thieves. Let's fucking find out. Episode 52, guys. Let's get started. Still out here killing everybody. Do, 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 do. You know, the the fortune also mentioned even when you lose all your limbs at one point. I wonder if that if part of that was telling the future, like, is Krolo going to lose all his limbs? Like, he would still have, but he'll still have control and power. Is it that literal, maybe? I don't know. I feel like it may not be, take, shouldn't be probably taken that literally. But the girl did say the first verse usually tells about stuff that's already happened, right? Assault and impact. Ooh. All right, let's see it. Right now the subway stand. <laughs> look at us standing among the common folk. Look how normal everybody looks and how weird we look. Actually, Killua looks fine. God's the one with the weird little outfit. Weird little green bean he is. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> wow, we just got out of there. I got out of the way of the fan thieves. How the fuck? They got here faster than we did to fucking murder and pillage. Now we're just going to walk out of the train and they're going to be standing right there. What the fuck? Can't escape these guys. Holy shit, they're fucking killing everybody. Uh-oh. Vacuum girl. <laughs> I just, you just heard the sound of his like giblets flying. And he's like, ah, fuck. All traffic in New York New has been stopped because of all the murdering. You know, I wonder if Kurapika, I mean, he clearly intends, once he's done with this old man, he plan intends to kill him, right? Because obviously he's part of a corrupt organization. But I actually almost wonder if he plans to kill the girl too, because the girl's kind of fucked up as well. I mean, she seems cute and innocent, but she's been also... I mean, privy to collecting people's body parts. You know, she was probably going to try to get the scarlet eyes at some point. Mm, I don't know. How far will Kurapika go? Boss. Boss. But I want to go I'm kill things. So you see how Kirby is alpha too. It looks like he's got, the, he's got the infinity symbol, right? On his like cloak. And I wonder if that's supposed to symbolize or represent something. Maybe it's supposed to look like eyes, scarlet eyes or infinity. Like I'm, I've got infinite power and in emperor time. I don't know. Yeah. Kirby's like, oh, stuck here with this dumb girl. Uh, Gara, are you okay? I, th I think you might be dead. Dude, you're already dead. You don't even realize it, silly. Um, <laughs> he just walked past him. Well, I, I didn't even hurt him. He just fell on his own. I thought he was going to like fall in half or something. Ambulance is here. Probably full of more Phantom Troop members. Holy shit, it's got Doc Brown in it. Anime Doc Brown. Oh my God. There's nothing to prove you aren't a Phantom Troop member. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, you want to fuck with me? Bitch, I'm the strongest guy in this anime right now. Except for me, kill his dad. Ah, uh, this is boring. I should be punching things or arm wrestling things. This crappy little weird ball phone I have. <laughs> Bye, guys. I would. I would leave this room and go fight. This old asshole won't let me. Okay. Kirpik is going to go out and do stuff now. Cool. They're dangerous themselves to prove they aren't afraid. These stupid mafia gang guys. Nersinde! <gasps> finally! <laughs> oh, finally! Jesus Christ, they finally talked to each other. God! Got a big guy! Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I've been waiting for that. I've been waiting for fucking like 10 episodes for them to finally communicate. You finally picked up your stupid phone! Oh. <laughs> Actually, they caught us. The, the troop caught us, and they challenged us to arm wrestling. And he beat me like 30 times in a row, but then I beat him at the end because I got real mad. And then Killua Star Power. And Kurt was like, shut up, God! Where the fuck are they? <laughs> Kurt Pika mad. <laughs> no fucking dust, stupid! <laughs> I won't help you get yourselves killed. Yeah. Yeah, friends. We're friends. You may want to... Team members cry because you killed him. It made God sad. Yeah, fuck them. I'll call you back after I've killed six more. Kirby is like, no. Uh-oh. 
Is he got the thing in the back of his neck or is he being controlled by the pinker girl? He's got his crazy face on. Yep, that'd be him. Phone guy. Oh, he broke. Oh, he found the corpse of one of the assassins already inside. He's already inside the building. Ah, shit. Curry's like, ah, damn it. Well, better go kill him. Those stupid mercenaries can't do shit. Our bullets are useless! Ah! They just keep running. And we keep dying. And Nosoka just keeps watching. I don't know how these guys have fun killing a whole bunch of scrubs. God. Oh, he's already dead. The two thousand men are supposed to assemble here. They're already dead. Wow, that was easy. It's me, Bean Man. Yes, the guy with the hilarious name. <laughs> That's what I wanted. I, I didn't want him to not be able to forgive me. Oh, everybody shut the fuck up. <laughs> so says Assassin Kiryu. That's right. The Zoldic family are... God, the, wow, Crawler just keeps stabbing people with pins. <laughs> Seriously, that's the most Jason Bourne fucking murder style I've ever seen. <laughs> if you were fully armed, it would take me seven seconds to kill the lot of you. Goddamn, old man. If you understand, shut the fuck up, you pussies. You can't do shit. Crawler, where are you, dude? What are you doing? Uh, another dead guy. God, Kirby's dad looks so fucking weird. This is a weird face. Single strike from behind. Beautiful. Why is it always a pin? have to use in. Oh, that's what the other guy had too. I thought was, that was his own unique ability. I guess not. The the sword guy that is. <laughs> Motherfucker, I was doing this shit before you were in your goddamn diapers. This job is hardly worth the pay. Okay, so they're spreading their aura. So they, it's an aura that you could use to spread out in front, around you and sense people in it, right? Even if they're using Zetsu. So they're just walking around trying to find where Krolo is as well as Kurapika, who will find him first. Kurapika's like, I think I found him though. Oh, damn, Kurapika. He was probably in that room, I bet, right? And now they're there, of course. And he's just standing there waiting for him. Hey, fellas. Big empty room, perfect place for a fight. We meet again. Oh, interesting. He actually, Krolo actually remembers them. Hmm. When the last time they, you killed one of my people. It was difficult. <gasps> oh my god, I fucking called it! <laughs> Holy shit! He can steal your techniques. Oh my god, I fucking called that shit! I fucking called it. Hopefully, I, I, I don't know if I, I left that in there. I... Ah, oh. a couple episodes ago, I actually said to myself, I don't know why, but I feel like he he probably has the ability to steal people's techniques. I, I think I cut it out of that episode. Because I was like, people are going to give me shit because they're like, what are you even basing that on? Oh, no. The reason I was thinking was because the if Gon and Killua were coming there, right? We're getting brought to Krolo. I thought, well, maybe that's why he wanted them to come there. But then I figured out they were going to recruit them. So I was like, ah, that doesn't really make sense. So I, I, I cut it out of that episode. I might have mentioned it earlier before that, though. But I was actually right. <laughs> oh, no. He can steal your techniques. Shit. That's... uh. Ooh, that is a good move. <laughs> Kroll's got a grudge against these guys, just as he has for Kurapika. Oh, shit. This might get crazy. R running briskly. Ah! Oh, I got him. Oh, old man, wave. Oh, he knocked his, he knocked his blazer off. Oh, God. Close. Losing clothes. Oh, shit. It's a weird knife he's got there. This could be hard finding one on two. <laughs> Just quality knife to scratch my goddamn thick ass skin. A mid era. Oh, Ben's knife. Hey, it's the Ben's knife. It's that thing. Not probably the exact same one, but it's it's one of those. That shape, it's poison. Uh oh. Uh, uses a tourniquet to stop the poison. Oh shit. A tenth of a milligram will completely paralyze a whale. Not this crazy motherfucker. Jesus Christ, sorry to get nuts. You can steal other people's nen. Yep, a specialist. I would consider you a threat if you could freely use the powers you steal. However, you must take risks to take those abilities. Mmm. Talk about the limitations of his power. I take me that strong must have his drawbacks. He says, no, this is, I know how this dead shit works. No way. You're not allowed to be overpowered in our universe. Our power system explicitly denies that possibility. You must clear out four or five conditions before you can steal an ability. Okay. <laughs> Correct. It will be difficult to clear those conditions while you fight us. No choice. Just gotta power up. Once I lock him in place, kill him. If you have to kill me with him. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Whatever, old man. I don't like you anyway. Use your special beam cannon to blast him after I hold him in place. Energy. Won't be able to block that attack, motherfucker. Old man power's coming. Uh-oh. He's got that book again. Skill Hunter. Bandit secret. Oh. 
Oh, shit. He has the owl guy's move in there. We saw his face. A mantle. Even if it's a stolen build, I can't attack where it looks like. The cloth is waving at me. It talks me. If he throws on top of him, he can capture him, right? That'd be an ordinary Spire's reaction, but yeah, I'm a fucking demon. Oh, God. He's throwing a command, man. Dragon head. Lou to Z. How wow. Wah! This power. Oh, God. Dragon land. Uh, Dragon! Dragon of the Darkness Flame! Woo! Toro! His power is to see other people's abilities in that conjured book. Letting him use them freely. Wow. Oh, I see. In return, in order to use his ability, he must hold that book in his hands at all times. Wow. That's the that's part of the uh what he has to do. Part of his restrictions. He's trying to close the distance. I have no reason not to fight from a distance. <laughs> Managed to read my mind in a flash. Oh my god, it's just getting so crazy. Guess I can't capture him alive. Oh, he was. He's trying to get... That's so cool, man. He's whipping out the fucking cloth and he's trying to... He was. He was trying to throw on top of him and capture him alive. So he probably could get... He can get his powers, right? And this this guy fucking pumping his arms, coming at him. When he closed the book, the, the ability he had withdraws. Okay. He's quite talented. Leaving no opening to attack. <gasps> He's physically stronger than before. Oh, shit. They actually showed a little glimpse. Yeah, look at this. When they faced off before. So we don't know what abilities he ha he has. We can't finish we can't finish him off without risking our lives. So they're, they're all playing it super duper careful. Oh, oh he got him. Oh, oh put the little bit. Fuck out of it. Got it. Oh, my God. Holy shit! Oh, freeze the giant energy balls! Gonna destroy the motherfucking planet! Say goodbye to Planet Lemon! Yeah! <laughs> Thundering boomers out of the right yard, I Oh, fuck. What a, what a blue ball move! You piece of shit! You're gonna end it there? Oh, fuck you, Hunter! Hunter! What a cliffhanger ending that shit is. Okay, shall not go. He's smart, knowledgeable, and calculating, and he's got a phone. His Nen pl ability places an antenna and letting him control them with his cell phone. Beep beep. Black voice. What? Damn, that was fucking nuts, man. Holy fuck. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> that fight the end was just like, they're all just like, they keep analyzing each other. I felt like I was watching, it did. It felt like I was watching like Death Note, but if Death Note was an actual shonen like battle brawler, you know? Like clearly he read my thoughts and was going to do this. So I'm going to do this. Clearly he read that I was reading his thoughts. So I'm going to do this. Clearly he read that I was reading, that he was reading, that I was reading. <laughs> And they just keep counting it, counterattacking and one up each other. Fuck it, we're doing another one. Episode 53, let's do it. Love the this is a, the most Dragon Ball looking fucking move. <laughs> the shit. I said that's his power, it's just Dragon Ball power. <laughs> All right, fake and psyche. Hmm. Fake like, was that not really Crollo or some shit? He somehow survived that bull crap? What, where the hell is this? Is this like Mafia Island? Oh, everyone's dead already. Oh, it's the little girl. Part of also Zoldic's family. It's uh, uh, Killua's brother, too. The hell? What are they doing? In underground chamber where everything... Co oh, oh, this is the fortune he has, isn't it? In underground chamber where everything costs extra, that is where you will sleep. Never descend stairs that you didn't first ascend. Do not compete with others at numbers. Okay, this is this is the, the thing before was that we actually saw this, this fortune. Basically, if you go down there, you will die. I'll be fine. This is the 10th floor. I'll be safe as long as I don't go down any stairs. Just stay up there. Oh, that's what all these guys are thinking. That's what they're all thinking. Interesting. Hmm. It's like a setup, maybe? We've dealt with the Phantom Troops later. Oh! Hmm. Interesting. This is unusual. But we just saw, looked like other Zoldic members. Were they going after where the Ten Dons were? Is this like a backstab? The Ten Dons will be watching a live feed of the proceedings. Oh. It is. They're they're over in this building here. So is it a lie then? Like the or do they not realize that all the guards are dead? There's a fly in the room. Oh, ew! They're already dead. Oh fuck! It was his brother. He stuck the needles in them and moved his face. And the brother's got a new outfit too. Uh oh, Illumi. That's right. That's his name. <gasps> Where's your client? Right here. What? Just in the nick of time. Oh my God. It is a backstab. Krolo hi actually hired the Zoldic assassins out from underneath them. After underneath the mafia. I've killed the 10 Dons. Yada yada. Seems like we get to live another day. We were hired by the 10 Dons. Now that they're all dead, you are no longer our target. Wait, 
What? He's surprised though. He's like, aren't you going to kill me? Did they kill the 10 Dons? Why would they? Well, I'll just keep going. Hey, do you believe that we kill for pleasure? We don't do this for fun. I refuse to work for nothing or die for nothing. Oh, okay. Money. Oh, did you know that I hired a Lumi to assassinate the 10 Dons? Oh, okay. Okay. So now they're dead. He has no reason to... Wow. Okay, no, they... Okay. It was it was Krolo that really did behind their backs, but they knew about it apparently, but that's irrelevant. We don't care. We simply do the job we're hired for. Wow. If you and I were to fight one-on-one, -on -one, who would win? Yeah, probably me. And I see you decided to try to... Try, decided to, try to actually try to kill me, bitch. <laughs> You're a cheeky kid. Oh, interesting. So you could tell. He, was he... So Krolo wasn't trying to kill the old man? <laughs> I don't know, though. Kro Kill his dad still looks kind of like, hmm, like, fuck. Yeah, I think Krollo might still have a vendetta against him, though, all right? At some point. Krollo's like, all right, pass him the fuck out. <laughs> I couldn't steal their powers. <laughs> wow. What a shocking twist. He must have known, though, that that's the kind of people they were, right? That's how he knew that this would happen. This would work. Like, okay, I'm going to hire a, the other part of the, the Zoldic family to kill the Ten Dons, and that's going to stop them, right? I think he must have, he had to have known that. Otherwise, I mean, so when he said, you think we kill for, for pleasure, clearly he didn't. He didn't think they did that. They do it just for business or uh, that, or, uh, unless this ended up just being in, a, a fortuitous moment for him. Like, oh, he didn't actually know that, but he wanted to get rid of the 10 Dons just because. <laughs> Jeff fun boss. I can't make living copies, but I can provide static copies. Oh, don't touch the ambulance that girl is in. Yes, we're finally starting this stupid auction. Everyone's dead, but. It's all right. That's right. All's well that ends well. Hey, how's it going there, buddy? And dead. Oh, yep. He's got the needle in his neck. Put him on autopilot. Oh, they're finding the objects to bring out. Okay. Oh, he's making copies of gallery fake. Divine left hand, demonic right hand. Oh, he's making fake ones to sell out there. Oh, my God. So they're getting the money from the fucking auction as well, but they're all they're doing is selling fakes and they and they also get the merchandise. Oh my god, that's insane. They're gonna be even richer. Not that they give two fucks about money. Clear the troop is dead. Why wouldn't they proceed? Uh-oh. <laughs> Kirby is like, what the fuck? He died and I didn't get to do it? Oh dude, you wanna die today? <laughs> Oh, right in the face. Oh, Kirby, a man. I won't believe it. Not until I see his dead, loaded body. Oh, interesting. They made like a fake, a fake dead body or something that. So they made a copy of Krollo's body and squirt ketchup on it. Does Kirby can believe it? Oh, oh, the bodies of the other ones too. Wow. Ah, dead. I don't think he, I don't think he believes it. Oh God, scarlet eyes. No, bad timing, Kirby. <laughs> He said, I predicted incorrectly. He's saying, he's telling his boss that they're, the spiders are dead. But does he really believe that? Get on the scarlet eyes. Get the scarlet eyes. Yes. Curse because like, oh good, I will. But those are, are those actually, those aren't probably the real scarlet eyes though, are they? Because they're doing copies of them. Gok! You! One billion dollars? Or yen? This guy, he's pissed. He's like, I don't know, I'll bid you. Punch me in the face. 2.9 billion. Didn't expect to spend this much. So, okay, he ended up getting it, just, but it costs so much. In order to see it, I must keep Neon happy. So she keeps dumb, doing dumb fortunes. Jeez, old man. His daughter is a commodity to her. Damn, I could throw money at anything. Holy shit. Ooh. Ooh, you kind of see that now. It seemed like he was really, actually seemed to care about her, right? But now we just see, no, he's just keeping her happy because he needs her fortunes. That's it. That's all this is. It's not real fatherly love. He's not really spoiling her from... You know, because he just wants to see her happy. No, he, he wants her happy so that she can fill his pockets. Wow. This guy deserves to demon die. I got him. Supposedly. Kurpika sad. And mad. Oh, he's taking the contacts out. Oh, thinking your gun can stop me. Oh, fuck. Even if it's you. I will kill anybody who stares. Stay in my way. Know your place, old man. Who is that guy? I'm Batman, bitch. <laughs> Look at God's face. Oh, they always are drinking that beer. Oh, man, they're getting fucked up. We're underage. Wait, aren't you underage? Yeah. 
Hey, you tossed you, one of the tricks you tossed back there in your long-winded explanation next to Kevin Andy. Who would have thunk it? Who would have fucking thought there was a payoff to that shit? Kevin, just drinking yourself self-senseless. Liara's learning the tricks of the trade, huh? Yeah, Kirby got, got a serious power boost in between these two arcs. Holy shit, he's putting us to shame. He knows the secret about the damn net. He knows how to power up fast. Some strength that doesn't require experience or power. Yeah, the condition. Oh, God. Ah, oh, Kirpika looks so fucking dead inside. I guess he does believe it. I think he does believe they're actually dead. But what's he going to do? Is he, I mean, I think his plan was once he was done with this guy, he was going to kill him, right? Oh. Melody sees Kirpika sad. <laughs> Go shopping with my daughter again. Aw. Thanks, Melody. Kurapika, would you like me to play a song? <laughs> Help put you at ease. It'll make you high. Yeah, that sounds pretty good right about now. I like this theme. This is probably Melody's theme. It's very pretty. Said you wanted to stop the troop gone. They're fucking dead. The spiders are dead. Okay, so he does. He really thinks they're dead. Oh. <laughs> I'd hope to provide some comfort. <laughs> Was he calling Kurapika? Oh, it looks like he's in the middle of a call. What a bummer. I would have left him a voicemail telling him we're all still alive. Oh, well. We didn't even need Nobunaga. <laughs> Not it. <laughs> and he hung up. Kurapika's now drowning in indescribable emptiness. Sad. Ah! Says Kurtopi. Beware of Gallery Fig. His ability to conjure a copy in his right hand. Of what his left hand is touching. Oh God! Oh. Wow, what a what an interesting end to this. Like it, it almost feels like the arc could be over right there, right? Like that. That's it for now. Like he thinks they're dead. They Phantom Troop got away with everything. The auction went on, but they also basically ended up selling him a bunch of fakes. Got all the all the real versions of it and all the money. So the Phantom Troop basically fucking won. And now everybody thinks they're dead, so they're just like back to being, you know, doing whatever, right? Back to freedom. So it's like, hmm, some point they're going to find out they're still alive, right? This is episode 53, all right? We still got five more episodes of this shit, all right? This ain't over yet. This ain't over yet. But anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite and subscribe. And already become P Penguin for this LP where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. Man, I thought that fight, though, between Krollo and the, the Zoldix was so cool. It was like, man, what a nice little twist at the end, too. But again, I don't know where the fuck is going to go from here. How are they going to find out they're still alive? I guess they're going to do something, right, that Kurapika learns about. I actually thought Kurapika wouldn't believe that they were actually dead, but it seems like he does for the time being. And it does also kind of make me wonder, then, how is this going to lead into whatever the next arc ends up being, you know? Hmm. Seems pretty clear that the Phantom Troop, they're not all just going to die, right? I don't think they're all just going to die by the end of this arc. It seems like there might be a possibly a returning uh, cast of characters over the course of the series. Um, I'm going to look forward to seeing how it plays out, though. And as always, Pinky Penguins, till next time, guys, stay classy!